Hey, Russ Miller here, and I'm going to take a, a couple minutes and talk through this piece that my buddy Pete Lockett and I uh, did. And this particular performance is from, I believe it's a, a festival in Switzerland, and we've, we've done this uh, piece several times. It's actually, uh, it's called a rhythmic conversation. And uh, we have a record called Rhythm Sphere that Pete and I did a few years back. And that was a uh, Southern Indian music uh, sort of based uh, album. It has a Vena player on it. It's really just a trio album uh, with this Vena player. But this particular piece uh, was actually originally uh, composed for my arrival album and Pete and Steve Smith and I did this together and uh, we revamped it as a duet for Rhythm Sphere. Now what you're hearing is uh, it's really a duet pieced together out of Corvi compositions and Corvi uh, compositions are sort of like rudiments, I would call them rudiments, but they're very long, it's not like a flam, it's just two notes, it's uh, maybe 32 beats long, but they're, they're common compositions that a lot of Indian percussionists would know. And uh, what you're hearing here is uh, the first opening pieces are some unison figures, goes into a groove, and then we start to go through some of these various Corvi compositions, um, like the ascending fives and descending fives. Um, in this section, uh, we're starting to lead towards a solo section here while I was talking over everything, but um, we do a really cool trading of uh, fills right here. Now this is a 24 bar solo. This whole piece is in four. It might seem like it's not, but it is. Uh, a lot of the Southern Indian uh, compositions are really based upon mathematics and um, because they don't think of uh, music in a Western way where they're trying to resolve every four or eight beats. Uh, they'll let long uh, phrases go by and uh, figures will start in odd places. That's why it's a little tough to follow, but it is all in four. And um, this is Pete's 24 bar solo here. I'm keeping time for him because we have a click going with some backing tracks of some colors. And then we'll come up on a Corvi section here. It's all unison and pretty quick. going to come up on ascending fives and those are fives that there are groups of fives that are first half notes then uh, quarter notes then triplets then eighth notes three four five now quarter one two three four five one two three four triplets two three four five there's some corvi figures unison now we're going to come up on a conical section here towards the end and conical is a vocal performance study the easiest way that I could describe this, and Pete is a master at it, of course, is uh, there are syllables that sort of represent stickings uh, for twos and threes and fours and fives. So we're kind of piecing those syllables together for these rhythmic figures. All unison, of course. We add a few uh, hits on the drums. And it builds tension. But, you know, it's a great great way to do duets and to uh, build a, a real strong understanding of long phrases. It works great when you're playing swing and jazz music too. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the Rhythmic Conversation with Pete Lockett and Russ Miller. It's from the Rhythm Sphere record. And thanks you guys for joining me.